What's up guys? Samsung has launched the next generation of its fitness preset called Galaxy Fit 3. I should remind you that the previous model, Galaxy Fit 2, was released in 2020. Well, Xiaomi and other Chinese manufacturers produce fitness bracelets and smartwatches every year. We have waited for the new Galaxy Smart Band more than three years. You know I haven't tested any fitness bracelet from Samsung yet, so I will not compare the new Galaxy Fit 3 with the previous models. However, I have tried many bracelets from Xiaomi, Huawei and others. Right now, I have Xiaomi Smart Band 8. In this video, I will be comparing the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 with the smart bracelet from Xiaomi, because I think these are the main competitors. However, this is a full review of the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3, not a comparison with the Xiaomi Smart Band 8. If you want a detailed comparison of these smart bands, please write in the comments below. Let's start the review with unboxing. Here is the box of the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3. I have a global version of the bracelet, so everything on the box is in English. You can see an image of the smart band in black color, because they have a black version, but it is also available in silver and rose gold. The box contains the fitness bracelet and magnetic charging cable, user manual, warranty card. You know the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 is smaller than I expected. It looks bigger in official images than it does in real life. However, this is a good thing, because in my opinion, a fitness bracelet should be compact and convenient. The dimensions of the dial are 43 by 28 by 10 mm. The weight without a strap is only 19 grams, but it is 36 grams with a band. By the way, the strap is made of TPU, it is soft and pleasant to the skin. The clasp is very secure, and it is even difficult to remove when you wear the bracelet tightly. In addition, the strap has quick-release buttons, which reminded me of the Xiaomi Smart Pen 8. Going back to the dial, the frame is made of aluminium. Just to remind you, Galaxy Fit 2 had a plastic body. There is a physical button on the right side of the Galaxy Fit 3. The hole next to the button is not a speaker or a microphone, it is actually a barometer. The back panel has a magnetic charging contacts and health tracking sensors. We will talk about health monitors a little later in this video. Since the Galaxy Fit 3 is a fitness bracelet, it is 5ADM and IP68 water resistance. You can use the bracelet in the shower or even in the swimming pool at a depth of up to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. I think that's all about design. The main upgrades compared to the previous model are an aluminum body and a larger screen. Talking about the screen, now it has a diagonal of 1.6 inches. It is much bigger than the Galaxy Fit 2. However, it is still a bit smaller than the Xiaomi Smart Band 8 with a 1.62 inch display. By the way, which display shape do you like better, Samsung or Xiaomi Fitness Preset? Write in the comments below. The Galaxy Fit 3 has an AMOLED panel with always on display support, but it is not a surprise because the Galaxy Fit 2 also had it. The new feature is the light sensor, thanks to which the Galaxy Fit 3 supports adaptive brightness. This is a very useful and important feature, and I am glad it is here. By the way, I forgot to tell you the screen resolution. It is 256 by 402 pixels. Overall, I like the display of the Galaxy Fit 3. It is good both indoors and outdoors. Compared to the screen of the previous model, Galaxy Fit 2, it has a larger diagonal, higher resolution and a light sensor. It is a very decent upgrade. And now let's talk about the functions of the new Samsung Fitness Preslet. First I saw on the official website that the Galaxy Fit 3 has an operating system called Free RTOS. The developer of this system is Amazon Web Services. I am surprised Samsung hasn't made its own system for fitness bracelets. However, it doesn't really matter if the Galaxy Fit 3 works well. The main watch face of the new Samsung Fitness Preset looks pretty simple to me, but you can change it by tapping and holding on the screen. There are 7 watch faces out of the box, but hundreds more are available in the companion app on smartphone. 
We will talk about this app later in this video. When swiping left and right on the display, you can see dots on the top that show the main watch face and number of widgets. This is very convenient. First, you can read new notifications by swiping right. If you swipe left, there is a daily activity info, workout modes, sleep info, weather, calendar, music player, heart rate monitor, and cycle tracking. You can also add other widgets such as alarm, timer, world clock, blood oxygen, food, health summary, steps, stress, together, water, monthly calendar, and a weather forecast. The Galaxy Fit 3 also has quick settings menu with following functions Sleep mode, Power off, Do not disturb mode, Always on display, Settings menu, Mute, and Vibrate modes, Flashlight, Find phone, Theater mode, Flight mode, Water lock mode, and Screen brightness. By the way, when you activate any of the modes, other icons appear on the main watch face. This is another convenient feature of the Galaxy Fit 3 operating system. Finally, you can swipe up to see the other functions of the new Samsung Fitness Preset, such as Health, Media Controller, Find My Phone, Weather, Calendar, Timer, Alarm, Stopwatch. World Clock Calculator Camera Remote and Settings You know, I feel like the Galaxy Fit 3 has more functions than the Xiaomi Smart Band 8. If I do a video comparison of these fitness bracelets, I will make sure to compare all the functions. Now let's look at the settings of the Galaxy Fit 3. First, we can turn on Sleep Mode and see the mode in the settings. The notifications menu has up notifications, but you can manage them on the smartphone. Then we can select show notifications when phone not in use and even when phone in use. Then we can mute notifications on the phone and enable do not disturb mode. The advanced settings are notifications indicator, show with details, turn on screen and auto turn on band notifications for the new phone apps. After notifications, we can set up vibration of the fitness bracelet. The display settings include Brightness, Adaptive Brightness, Always on Display, Raise Wrist to Wake, Touch Screen to Wake, Show Media Controls, Screen Timeout, Show Last Up, and Show Charging Info. There are also Samsung Health settings available on the Galaxy Fit 3. The Security and Privacy menu has a log type, such as PIN and Known, and Wrist Detection. One of the main features of the Galaxy Fit 3 is Emergency SOS. You can find it in the Safety and Emergency menu. There is also Medical Info, Emergency Contacts, and Heart Fall Detection in this menu. You can also go to Advanced Features, General, Tips and Tutorials, and about the band on the Galaxy Fit 3. You know, this is the first fitness preset from Samsung that I am testing, so I was surprised to see an operating system called FreeRTOS. However, now I see that it has many useful functions and settings. Overall, the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 is fast and smooth. Now let's talk about the mobile app. When connecting the fitness preset, I had a few problems. You know, I am an iPhone user, so first I tried to connect the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 to my iPhone. However, the initial screen says that the Samsung Health app is only available in Samsung App Store and Google Play Store. Then I tried connecting the fitness bracelet to the Android smartphone from Infinix. The fitness tracker was detected, but the connection failed. Fortunately, my friend has a Samsung smartphone. As soon as I brought the bracelet to the Samsung phone, it prompted me to connect it. So it is better to have a smartphone from Samsung if you want to use the Galaxy Fit 3. You can also try to connect the bracelet to another Android phone, but I failed. 
the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 actually uses the Samsung wearable app to connect and set up the bracelet, but the Samsung Health app for health tracking and sports functions. In the Samsung wearable app, you can select your favorite watch faces, as well as upload the new ones. And then you can change the order of the applications on the app's screen. You know I showed the widgets on the Galaxy Fit 3, but they are called tiles in the app. You can also remove or add tiles, as well as change their order. Finally, you can add or remove buttons on the quick panel. The band settings are the same as on the fitness bracelet, such as modes, notifications, vibration, display, etc. If you want to track your health, you need to open the Samsung Health app. There are steps, workout modes, sleep information, sleep coaching, food, body composition, heart rate, stress level, cycle tracking, water reminder, and blood oxygen on the home screen. The fitness tab has many workout modes, including meditation, weight loss, build muscle, and others. Now I want to compare the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 with the Xiaomi SmartBand 8. First, let's measure my heart rate before workout. It is about the same on Samsung and the Xiaomi Fitness Bracelets, 72 BPM. After squats, my heart rate goes up to 103 BPM. The blood oxygen level on the Samsung Fitness Bracelet is 96%, and it is 97% on the Xiaomi SmartBand 8. As you can see, the heart rate and SpO2 values of Samsung and Xiaomi Fitness Bracelets are almost identical. I also decided to track my sleep on the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 and the Xiaomi SmartBand 8. I put them on last night before going to bed. In the morning, I looked at the bracelets. They show total sleep time, time when I fell asleep and woke up, as well as sleep phases. To see more information about sleep, we need to open Samsung Health and the Mi Fitness apps on the smartphone. In the Mi Fitness app, we can see the sleep score of 69, as well as the diagram and stages of sleep. As for the Samsung Health, the sleep score is 81. We can read the factors that influenced the sleep score. By the way, the sleep stages diagrams of the Galaxy Fit 3 and Xiaomi SmartBand 8 are similar, right? There are also sleep consistency achievements, blood oxygen during sleep, and snoring functions in the Samsung Health app. So the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 has more sleep information and functions in the app than the Xiaomi SmartBand 8. The Galaxy Fit 3 has more than 100 sports modes, but its main feature for me here is auto-detecting and tracking popular workouts, such as running, walking, elliptical, and even swimming. So if you forget to start the sport mode, don't worry, the Galaxy Fit 3 will automatically track your activity. To give you an example, let's run the walking mode. During a workout, you can see the duration, distance, steps, calories, average pace, speed, and your heart rate, average heart rate, and maximum heart rate. And by the way, the fitness bracelet automatically poses the sport mode when you stop walking. You can also control your music when playing sports, as well as add a new workout, resume, and finish. The settings include workout screen, auto pose, and screen always on. By the way, you can even minimize the sport mode and use the other functions of the Galaxy Fit 3. The icon on the main watch face says that the sport mode is active. That's really cool. The new Samsung Fitness Bracelet supports multitasking. Let's compare the Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 and Xiaomi SmartBand 8 once again. I started the walking mode on both bracelets and went for a 20 minutes walk. By the way, neither Samsung or Xiaomi don't have built-in GPS. They use GPS from a connected smartphone, but I turned off the Bluetooth on my phone. So the bracelets didn't use GPS tracking during my test. Now you can see that the Xiaomi SmartBand 8 has almost one minute more workout than the Galaxy Fit 3 because I stopped for a while to rest, and the Samsung bracelet automatically poses the workout.
The Samsung Fitness Bracelet says that they have walked 1.64 kilometers and 297 steps. Well, Xiaomi Bracelet reports about 1.59 kilometers and 290 steps. You know the results are pretty much the same. Talking about battery of Galaxy Fit 3, it has a capacity of 208 mAh and up to 13 days of battery life on a single charge. It is a little less than the previous model, Galaxy Fit 2, but the new fitness president has much bigger display, so I think this is a good battery life for it. As I said at the beginning of this video, the Galaxy Fit 3 is the first fitness bracelet I am testing from Samsung. You know, I really like it. First, it has a larger display compared to the previous model, Galaxy Fit 2, but it is still a compact and lightweight fitness bracelet. In fact, the Galaxy Fit 3 is much more comfortable for me than the Xiaomi Smart Band 8. The operating system of the new Samsung fitness bracelet was a pleasant surprise for me, because it has many functions and settings. In addition, the system supports multitasking, so you can minimize the sport mode. As for the workout modes and sleep tracking, they are about the same as the Xiaomi Fitness Preslet. The only problem, but a very big one, is that the Galaxy Fit 3 only connects to Samsung smartphones. The app is not available for iPhone, and I haven't been able to connect the Preslet to the Android device. If you succeeded, write in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!